welcome to another episode of Cult Movie Club, where today I'm going to be counting down the top 10 of my favourite films of 2024 so far. Now, just bear in mind, these are films that were released in the UK in 2024, so some of these might have been released in the US or other parts of the world in 2023, but in the UK, we didn't see until this time. If you've been keeping up to date with my films of the month, what I've been doing since March, then I've probably talked about most of these already, so I'm not really going to talk about them. I'm just going to go through the top 10, starting with at number 10. This is private property. Do you know what they do here? Scamming the weakest in our society. Buddy, I'm count to three. One, two, three. There, I did it for you. No, you can't take it. No, you can't. I'm going to burn this place to the ground. No, you can't take it away from me. Will you stomp his ass out? You're telling me one man did this. And the only thing you know is he's a beekeeper. Monk, your books are good, but they're not popular. Editors, they want a black book. They have a black book. I'm black, and it's my book. You know what I mean. Look at what they publish. Look at what they expect us to write. I just want to rub their noses in it. <laughs> I'd be standing outside in the night. Dead be dads, rappers, crack. You said you wanted black stuff. That's black, right? I see what you're doing. We sold your book. No. We believe Mr. Lee has written a bestseller. It's a joke. The most lucrative joke you've ever told. Now, is Stag a pseudonym? Yeah. Mr. Lee can't use his real name. Is this based on your actual life? Yeah, you think some bitch-ass college boy can come up with that shit? No, no. No, I don't. Ever since I was a child, people said my family was cursed. Mom tried to protect us with God. Pop tried to protect us with wrestling. He said if we were the toughest, the strongest, nothing could ever hurt us. I believed him. We all did. Morning. Pants tomorrow, please, David. Perry, I want you to join your brothers in the ring. Yes, sir. I love that. Woo! Now, we all know Carrie's my favorite, then Kev, then David, then Mike. But the rankings can always change. What do you want in life, Kevin Von Eric? More ribs. <laughs> I want to be with my family. You know, be with my brothers. What do you like to do with your brothers? Together, we can do anything. We're here to restore justice to the wrestling federation that our father built with his own two hands. The hands that were passed down to us. The hands that will deliver the iron claw to you. It's a lender. It's a lender. It's a Bisschen Kräuter, auch Rosmarin, hier ist rote Beete, das ist Fenchel, die Rüben. Sonnenblumen hier. Ja. Und hier ist der Kohlrabi, die Kinder essen wahnsinnig viel Kohlrabi. Die herrliche Zeit, die wir im gemütlichen gastlichen Mausurhaus verlebten, wird immer mit zu unseren schönsten Urlaubsländern herumgehören. Im Osten steht unser Morgen. Dank für eure nationalsozialistische Gastfreundschaft. I know what you're thinking. Is it worth it? It's the job. I did what I thought was right. You start doing this because you want to help people. Sometimes you just end up doing the complete opposite. Tell the truth. Did paramedic Rukowski intentionally withhold treatment? What am I doing? about you. You need help. I 
told them it was a mistake. Get away from me. Seriously, man, be careful. We all work in the darkness. be war, but to get home, Furiosa fought the world. Remember me. Dr. June Ross Mitchell and Lily, the young subject of the book, Conversations with the Devil. I really don't think it's a good idea, Jack. He's becoming more unpredictable. That's a good that's why we still do black TV. Ladies and gentlemen, please stay tuned for a live television first as we attempt to commune with the devil. Lily, can you hear me? <laughs> Good to see you again, Jack. Lily, return to me. Citizens of America. The so-called Western forces of Texas and California have suffered a very great defeat at the hands of the United States military. Mr. President, do you regret the use of airstrikes against American citizens? We're moving to D.C. today. We need to go down there. They shoot journalists on sight in the Capitol. Every instinct in me says this is death. What if? Every time I survived the war zone, I thought I was sending a warning home. Don't do this. But here we are. There's some kind of misunderstanding here. What? Well, you're American, okay? Okay. What kind of American are you? You don't know? <laughs> Have you ever had a dream about your first ride? Don't try to impress anyone. You're brave, we all know that. Be simple. Be direct. Nothing fancy. I understand. Nothing fancy. You will never lose me, Paul Trades. We gave them something to hope for. That's not hope! May thy knife chip and shatter. So that is my top 10 favorite films of 2024 so far.
there's still lots of films um, that have been released this year that I'm still yet to see. Films like Abigail and Monkey Man and stuff like that that I've I missed on its cinema release that I've got to catch up on at some point in the year. And there's also quite a few films still to come out this year, one of which being my most anticipated film, Long Legs, and some other big hitters towards the end of the year. So I imagine my end of year list will look pretty different to how it does now. So we'll see. Again, thanks very much for watching and I'll see you again soon.